The third phase of a trail that provides a safe route for people walking and bicycling has been completed and is now open to the community. Stacy Elifrit has more. The final phase of the pipeline trail that's within City of Tacoma limits was completed in late fall of 2020. Trails like this are important as they preserve natural landscapes and provide necessary links between transit centers, neighborhoods, and other destinations. Phase three constructed a 1.4 mile segment from East 56th Street and Portland Avenue to East 72nd Street and Walla Road East. Phase three of the trail is an ADA accessible trail with a 12 foot wide asphalt surface, LED lighting, wayfinding signs and benches. The pipeline trail is part of a 15 mile trail that extends from the Tacoma Dome Transit Center to Puyallup, where it will connect with the Nathan Memorial Chapman Trail and eventually the Foothills Trail and Mount Rainier National Park. Phases one through three contribute to 4.3 miles of this trail. The full completed trail runs from the Dome District to the county line. It includes 2.3 miles of separated paved trail and two miles of on-street bike facilities and connected sidewalks. The pipeline trail provides an important safe route for people walking, bicycling, and using other modes of active transportation between a major transit hub, the Tacoma Dome Station, neighborhoods, schools, parks, and other destinations. There are many different ways to get out and enjoy this trail through every season. The wonderful thing about the Pipeline Trail is that anyone can enjoy this trail, all ages and abilities, walkers and rollers. It is ADA accessible. It's a perfect trail for children to ride a bike or their scoop bike in a safe environment. When I've been out on the trail, I've seen people with skateboards, scooters, roller skates. It's a trail for everyone. Since the trail was recently completed, some fun socially distanced events are being planned. We do have some socially distanced events planned in late May to help bring additional awareness about the trail. Second Cycle Community Bike Shop is hosting a bike ride for women, transgender, and non-binary folks. Urban Forestry created a self-guided tree tour so people can learn more about the trees that were planted along phase three of the trail. Tacoma Water partnered with a local artist to create these fantastic coloring pages that teach children the importance of pipelines, and those will be available at the libraries and online. One of these events is a pop-up story walk for families to enjoy over the next couple of months. The city is installing a temporary pop-up story walk along the trail using the book Counting on Community. A pop-up story walk is a program that promotes literacy and health using deconstructed children's storybooks installed along the trail. The Pipeline Trail is a collaboration between the City of Tacoma, Pierce County, and Tacoma Water. Work is continuing on the trail beyond the city limits. Pierce County is currently working to extend the trail from East 72nd Street and Walla Road East through Orange Gate Park. Design is underway with instruction scheduled for 2022. For Tacoma Report, I'm Stacey Ellifrit. To learn more about the Pipeline Trail and the upcoming events being held along the trail, visit the city's website.